right, and I'm joining you guys again. I'm on a bus over at the All-Star Movies Resort, and we're actually gonna head on over to Disney Springs right now. So I'm heading on home for today. I gotta go pick up my kids from school. There's a couple of people on the bus right now. It's not like earlier. Got a couple more undecideds out there. So once again, you're at the resorts, the buses pull up. You're just gonna look on top and it's gonna tell you where they're going. So this one says Disney Springs, so we're gonna head on over there. But when you are outside, be careful, because some of them like this one over at the movies, I don't know if you guys see the sign out there, but it says uh, Disney Springs and Typhoon Lagoon. And the other bus just before this one looked like it was going to Disney Springs, so if you had gotten on that bus, you're going to the wrong place. So be mindful of where these buses are going and don't be afraid to ask your drivers. Some of them just connect in between the resorts, like some of them will go just to the movies, to the all-star sports, and then back over here. So you gotta check if they're doing that or if they're actually running them to Disney Springs. And a beautiful day out there today. There's an idea of some of the decorative flooring in here, guys. So some of the buses actually have a regular floor in them, and some of them are really cool. Like this one looks kind of like a walkway or a little bit of water or something on the outside of like a uh, wooden platform. Some of the frozen buses have that floor in them. But once again, a look at what's going on in Disney. You've got the Halloween party. Epcot. Hollywood Studios. Animal Kingdom. And we got a fun bus rider right now. He said he's gonna buy us around when we get to Disney Springs. I don't know if they're actually allowed to do that, but it's kind of cool. And there's some of the signs outside where you're gonna stand. That one right there is Epcot. This one up here in the end is Hollywood Studios. If you want to go to service vehicles, that's back there. So this is the furthest all-star resort. This is the movies, and then it goes to uh, movies, to the music, to the sports. And we've got to make our way back through all of them to get on out and head on back down to Disney Springs. But this is a real fun ride, actually. This is why I think it's one of our uh, favorite uh, resorts to stay at. Over the years, I've stayed at like almost all of them. And uh, to be honest with you, even though these are like the uh, economy type uh, hotels to stay at they're like my kids love them they have a blast over here and there's a lot of walking because these are all connected so you just keep walking 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 and just like today i've walked from the sports over to the movies so it's not really a big deal and as you guys notice some vehicles out there there is a little bit of construction going on i didn't really see any construction at the movies today the construction i saw was over at the uh, music and the sports so you guys will see that in the videos that we have posted out there. But there's a look at the uh, all-star, uh, that one's a music. And then we're gonna make our way out to the, uh, and there's the uh, sign on the road there. And then we're gonna make out to the uh, sports in a minute. So each uh, all-star uh, resort is themed around its own thing. So the sports have all the uh, sports items like the footballs up there. The music have the instruments. And then the movies actually have like the, uh, the uh, Mighty Ducks and stuff like that. It's themed around the actual movies. So the uh, football is actually a big stairwell that you're gonna walk up to when you get to your rooms. And here's a look at the All-Star Sports right there, guys. So they just recently redid all the rooms, not that long ago. This place was shut down the last couple of years. These places have been shut down. And it's amazing that there's all that construction going on again in there. I'm not really sure what the deal is. I'm gonna to have to find out what that is. 
but they redid every single room in there, and they're in there jackhammering today, so, you know, it's kind of weird seeing that after doing a major renovation in there, because all the rooms got new floors, new walls, new beds, and now they're in there jackhammering, so I don't know if they're taking something out and putting something else in. Maybe something was uh, defective, maybe something wasn't the best, or I don't know. There's one of the Walt Disney World trucks. There's uh, Minnie Mouse going by in one of the actual uh, buses. So we're back out onto the road now. We just left the main entrance. We're at our first red light and McDonald's is right on the right. And today would have been them ideal days to, for the driver to pull in and let me get a, uh, a number seven medium. Because I'm going to be leaving here right now without any lunch. I didn't really have time today to stop and get a lunch because I was uh, hitting the beat pretty hard. So I got uh, three different resorts done today. And uh, I got a Coke for my uh, travel. Always carry water with you guys and always carry the sunblock. Once again, I can't say it enough. It's crazy heat out there. I think we're looking at about 98 degrees out there right now. One of my cameras actually shut off in the heat. The second one's starting to overheat, giving me some funny messages. And when you guys are out here filming, bring extra cameras. You're going to need a handful of them. But yeah, I was walking the... Uh, to be pretty hard a couple of years back right up until now and somewhere in the midst of all that I even picked up a little bit of cancer from doing that so be mindful of the sun guys it'll hit anybody and you don't want to start dealing with that mess and this is the uh, once again a bus ride from the all-stars back to Disney Springs so anytime I go to and from a place, I will hit a bus ride just because we get so much demand for the actual bus rides. It saves me from having to film it later if I film it now, so I got one here for you. I like that the uh, windows are clean, so we got a pretty decent look outside today. And this is one of the better bus rides. You get a little bit of scenery on the route, not just trees all the way along. Now when you come in here, once again, you will come in a different direction, so don't think you're always going to go to scene. There's the Winter Summerland Miniature Golf over there, and that's right next to the, uh, let's see if I can get over there and get a peek at it, guys. That's Blizzard Beach over there. So hidden in the trees is Blizzard Beach, and it looks like it's closed today, so I'm not seeing anybody in there. And with the temperatures out today, it's got to be closed. If you have no cars, it's closed. When it's like 90, 98 degrees, you're going to see cars everywhere. It blew my mind today during check-in at all three resorts. There were a lot of people at the check-in counters. Now I've gone into a lot of resorts lately and most of them are empty. Now maybe because it's the uh, moderate or the economy resorts that so many people are not going to be going into the higher end ones. Maybe they're down to just staying economy and stuff. I don't know, but it's weird when you go into the bigger resorts and their uh, check-in is dead. Maybe the money's making an impact. Right now we're going by the uh, Coronado Springs Resort and the Grand Destino Tower. Now during the day that's a pretty blah looking tower, but at nighttime that place really comes to life. If you guys get a chance to get over in this direction, I'd get over here and take a peek at that. That's a prettier tower. It lights up on top. It's like a purplish color last time I went through, so I don't know if they changed the lighting color or not, but oh, it's really pretty up there. We're going to try to get over there this week. I want to try to get that one refilmed. Off in the distance, you can see the Hollywood Tower of uh, Terror there, guys. And over on the right there, we try to get over here. There we go. We got a little more action going on over there. Let's see what we got. To the left, Swan Reserve, Swan and Dolphin Resorts. That's why I said this is one of the better drives. So you got the big Swan up there. That's the resort with a lot of construction going on right now. The Dolphin, not so much. And over here is the Hollywood Tower of Terror. And you've got a couple more big old buildings over there, guys. 
So the Tower of Terror is going to be down the uh, the end where the rock and roller coaster is, and then down towards the other end is going to be on the right is going to be the uh, Toy Story Land. So when you guys are coming in, you've got the Tower of Terror. When you go in the main entrance, you're going to go right on down the uh, Main Street there, and then you're going to go taking a right going down to the Hollywood Tower of Terror, or you can go straight. It'll take you up to the mini mini uh, runaway mine train. And then if you go straight behind the Mickey and Minnie Mine Train, uh, the uh, or the Mickey and Minnie Runaway Train, then you're going to go into the uh, Toy Story Land. If you go in and start banking to the left from the main entrance, you'll start heading over to the Star Wars Land. You guys got some Skyliners there. That's a plus on this one. You got the Boardwalk, the Skyliner, and they're going to be heading right over. You couldn't really see it. Maybe we'll get a little better as we get up further, but a little bit of Epcot in the distance. Try to get my camera a little straighter here for you. I'm gonna move right over here for you. It's a nice thing about a clear bus. So here's your Skyliners. Look way in the distance and let's see if we can pick up any of the uh, Epcot back there. I see the Eiffel Tower there. So over to the right somewhere, I see the, uh, the China building there. I see the American Pavilion. I'm sorry, that uh, looks like Japan. I always get them wrong when I'm sitting on the wrong side of them, so bear with me. They got so many things coming at me on the camera, I'm trying to see everything and then get them to you is what they are. But way in the distance, we should have straight across somewhere the uh, Epcot ball, and that's what I'm looking for right now, right there. Straight on through, it's kind of hard to see because of the, uh, it's blending into the clouds today. And I'll try to flip back, we've got the uh, Caribbean Beach over here and right to the left of the Caribbean Beach Resort there is the Caribbean and the Skyliner going into the Caribbean and you've got the I'm sorry the Skyliner is going into the Riviera the Riviera is right there and then that Skyliner is going to bring you right over to the Caribbean Beach which is next down on the Skyline uh, landings so that's the Riviera and then stay on the Skyliner it'll take you right on over to the uh, Caribbean Beach now once again, that's why I said this is one of the uh, fun bus rides too. You get to see so much stuff as you're going along here. Usually you see a lot of trees and stuff, and I know people like the uh, videos and stuff, but it's kind of hard when you get just a lot of trees. So it's nice to see actual uh, stuff coming at you. You just got to, as you're seeing it, you got to remember what everything is and in the order, because it's a lot of times you go down, it's on one side, you come back, it's on the other. Here's your Bonnet Creek entrance right there. Now they used to have a really nice opening there, entrance with the fountains, they took all that out. I'm not a fan, it looks kind of swampy right there. I don't know why they did that. It took a lot of time to do it too, but they used to have a beautiful sign. I wanted to go in there so much just because of the sign and now it's like, nope. And we're almost back to Disney Springs. We just went by the Vacation Club sign that was back on the left. It was a big old van that was installed way back in the day. It used to be red, then it made it blue. But it's actually, in my opinion, it's time to go. So they kind of should be putting something new in there that's kind of exciting. It would be nice as a uh, balloon, some kind of a cool balloon in there. There's Huey, Dewey, and Louie on the Vacation Club uh, little uh, tower there and that's right behind the Old Key West Resort or should I say in front of the uh, Old Key West Resort and if you guys want to check that one out anytime you're down in Disney Springs jump on a boat ride it'll take you right over to the Old Key West you get to look at it walk around and stuff and then head on back over to the boat launch and bring it over but that one's themed around uh, Key West so you'll see the buildings look kind of Key West-ish I guess you could say And don't, re don't forget that if it's not for bad jokes, I'd have no jokes. And you got the Typhoon Lagoon boat coming in, the uh, entrance right there. That one looks like it's open today. So I think Typhoon Lagoon is probably open and the uh, Blizzard Beach is probably shut. There is a car going in, that doesn't mean a lot. Over here to the left, we're coming up on the destination we're headed. That's uh, Disney Springs. You got the uh, Cirque du Soleil. You've got the balloon right there. You got Splitsville. Little Splitsville, House of Blues in the back. 
You've got the orange garage on the left-hand side, and the next garage up past that's gonna be the lime garage. So if you're coming over here, you're gonna be staying at one of them. They are free to park at. As long as you're not using valet services, they are still free. So, you know, thank Disney for that. Hopefully Disney gets back on the uh, game of uh, bringing back into Floridians. I know the uh, last CEO was pushing a lot of the Floridians out. They wanted everybody from down here that was pretty much taking advantage of the system out. So I know the park passes are crazy expensive. Hopefully they drop them back down where they're manageable and also bring back in these uh, Floridians because they help pay the bills here, you know? Anything that helps keep the bills down, you know? And these parks are so empty nowadays. Uh, hopefully they get the pricing back down to where they're a little bit more affordable for people. You know, we got ours this past year, $4,000 for four people. That's, to me, that's lunacy. Uh, you want to get the people in. You'll spend your money when you're in there, but if people aren't going to the parks, you don't have a chance of getting anything from them. So lower them prices back down, get the people back in. You know, a lot of the pricing in there is crazy off the wall, but you know, you do have a lot in there that's reasonable. I always say that certain things, you know, are worth the money and certain things you need to keep a little cheaper. Little kid stuff, you want people to go home with something for their children, so drop that stuff down a little bit. Uh, you know, sweatshirts, I understand, you keep them up a little bit, I guess. The backpacks, they're always worth their money. Uh, assuming they're the good ones, the ones that aren't really that desirable, they should lower them down. And then, uh, you know, you want to try to compete. If, you're, if Amazon's blowing you away, you're not making any money, so. I would make things a little more compatible. And there's the uh, Disney Springs Tower that's saying we're almost back to where we're going today. They're gonna drop us off right where that bus is in front of us, the red and the white one that's pulling in the distance. We're gonna get out right there and we're gonna head on in. I'm gonna walk over to my left, past that balloon, keep going up to the left and I'm gonna head to the parking garage and I'm gonna be on my way home. But this has been one more uh, bus tour for you guys. Let's get one look at the Aladdin bus right there. And uh, if you guys do have any requests of any videos you're looking to see, you know, leave them in the comments below. We always recommend the uh, thumbs up and uh, we always love the subscribers, guys. So please subscribe. And if you guys see us out in the park, say hi. We'll, we'll give you guys a shout out out there. Well, until the next one, guys. Enjoy.